Oh, he's got a record player. DN241. Oh. Okay, why is he making that face? Oh, he's an evil villain. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's so Be cute. careful. Careful of his feeties. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you don't need a girlfriend when you got that, dude. Oh my god. So fucking cute. I hear hedgehogs are the absolute dumbest pets <laughs> to have. Like, they are too dumb to live. They will drown in their water bowl. Really? They're, they're just idiots. Like, legitimately <laughs> dumb animals. Guest starring Nim? 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 Nimmin? Nim. Name oh, the hedgehog. Knuckles, no. That's Sonic. Okay, if we okay. get this wrong, he's going to yell at us, so it's Sonic. What if I click Tails and he get fucking pissed? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you idiot! Look at this sexy one. What should I message her? Oh, okay. So, um, literally no woman, no real woman, who is not... Selling sex, which is fine, uh, is going to have this be their Tinder profile. Yeah. That's... Because you don't need to be loudly sexual on Tinder. <clears throat> you just need to be there. You just need to exist and be alive. Yeah. I I did have somebody, like, so because a lot of the photo, this was like a, like a while ago, mm -hmm. but because like a lot of the photos that I had of myself were like photos that I had taken for Instagram, mm -hmm. so like a little bit more stylized than just like a casual like group selfie with friends or whatever, I did have somebody think that I was a catfish. Oh yeah, people think everyone's a catfish. It doesn't surprise me because there are so many and like, yeah. But just be aware, if a woman has this as their profile pics, They're she's definitely, a scammer. Yeah. She's a scammer. So maybe you have a great smile? Yeah, not this. You have a great smile. Okay, I know what to write. Yeah, you like that? Send? I kind of like that we're, the hedgehog is going to be the, uh, the important one. Yeah, good one. stuff. Lots of my female friends say that guys on dating apps just want to start and have a, then have a really long, boring chat that doesn't go anywhere. So this is more confident and a better way to go. I mean, you have to talk about something interesting. You have to be an interesting person, so that might be hard. <laughs> <clears throat> How's your day? Yeah, this is weird, and don't demand any sort of emotional labor of me to that quickly. Everyone's like, Stacy's just smiling at the hedgehog. <laughs> I'll ask her how her day is. How's your day? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. How's your day? It. Fine. Uh -oh. oh no. We fucked up. This is the kind of bland shit that girls always get, and she's very unlikely to respond. Okay, but I don't want to be demanding. I. I feel like what what, personally, I respond to in those like opening messages is somebody asks me something about something that's on my profile so that I know that they read it. They either talk about an interest that we have in common or like, like that's what always catches my attention. It's not like the just weird, but I don't know. Let's ask her for a drink. What would you like? What would you like to go for a drink with me? Solid, simple and solid, yeah? This is super beta, super boring, super predictable, <laughs> and exactly the kind of message that most guys send, which is why you don't want to send it. Shit. I can't seduce for shit, dude. Thank you for subscribing, Castling. Thank you so much. I guess for this particular thing, I have no idea, because online dating, you just go 
that one, and then you got it. I don't for women at least. Well, I think we ran into this with the last one actually, which is that like, I don't use Tinder. I have only used OkCupid mostly because I'm not the type of person who's just gonna look at a bunch of pictures and be like, yeah. Honestly, I'd be more comfortable with cool, send me a number and we can figure out rather than are you free Thursday, but I think he wants us to say, are you free Thursday? If somebody sent me two messages and then asked for my number, I would say no. Well, they're sending two messages and asking us on a date, so it's like, I would prefer somebody to ask for my phone, usually I'm the one who gives my phone number, ask for my phone number... I After, get it. Yeah. I don't know. Like, not two messages. Both of these are incorrect, actually. Yeah, I would just want a little more conversation before getting to the phone number, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think this is making the assumption that you guys are attracted to each other or something. I don't know. I can't think of a reason why after just two messages I would say yes to literally anything. Yeah. Because if somebody just sent me, like, because we literally sent... They said, nice smile. And how's then, your day? How, how's your day? Can I take kick? Are we going to go on a date? Uh, yeah, that's like so that's, fast. That's, that's like nothing. I'm not saying that you that's have to. That's the energy of a hot woman talking to a man. That is not the energy of a man talking to a hot woman. No. I, yeah. I mean, it's like she didn't even get to ask him like, Okay, cool. I just need to make sure you're not a Trump supporter first. Yeah. (laughs) That's important. Hey, what are your political views? Moderate. So you're secretly a Trump supporter. (laughs) Or I mean, like, you know, whatever the, your, like, red flag items are. For me, it's also, like, I want to make sure that, you know... If it's, if it's a man, I want to make sure that they're not, like, secretly going to hate that I'm dated, like, you know? Women? Yeah. Yeah, or, like, be... Whatever. I don't know. All of this is bad, Richard. I'm gonna be honest. This sucks. Are you free on... I'm always free. Let's say Thursday. Thursday. No! (laughs) Oh, that means she's still interested. But, like, why? I no. would. Uh, she's not interested at all. This is too fast. Does this? It's Why would somebody hot first, even so that do you find that? find out her schedule, and then you know a good time to invite her on a date. Because if you risk getting a no, every no makes the next what? no more likely, and basically more likely that you will fail. Did we thank Castling for the subscription? Yes. Okay. This doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, Sometimes I feel like he takes our advice from previous times we played the game, and then he changes to what we said, and then we go, that's not right either. <laughs> Even though we said that's what to do. Wait, but when did we say that? I'm just worried, because so, sometimes I think he really did listen to us, and then I remember that, like, something... Like, I think I remember we said, hey, you should have one where it's like a tall woman named Anastasia yelling at short men. And then that was in Super Seducer 2. But like we didn't pick up on it. <laughs> um, um, don't it, ask where she wants to go. Because apparently we have to be alpha. I think, you know, I don't mind if somebody wants to suggest a place. Like... Rather than you going back and forth and being like, wow, shit. Like, if somebody is... I think he would say that's too beta. Yeah. I, But, like, I'm saying, like, you know. I think, based on her responsiveness, is like, fine, here, here's my number. She's kind of on autopilot. And uh kind of like whatever so if we asked her where she wants to go she's gonna go oh no yeah like wherever like, yeah i don't care fanciest bar in town my impressor because maybe like some free drinks might get us in the door if you can afford it then in some cases girls might be more likely to want to go on a date if it's in the super cool trendy bar 
But if it's not the way you usually live on, and it's out of your price bracket, then you can just choose a place that's local to you and that would be better because you'll be more comfortable. Yet again, okay, his advice so is I be rich. To bring this back no, I thought that was a joke. Out. Oh. Time to get the apartment ready. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, like clean. Are we going to clean? No. I like the None idea. Of the <laughs> I do like the idea of somebody like bringing you to a place they've been before because then they can like suggest good stuff, you know. Soft lighting. Yes. Yeah, that Very light that's important. too much. Nice I don't want to see so the pores. That... <laughs> okay, that's too soft. Nice that's too pretty. much. I like the induction uh, countertop cooking surface, though. Mm -hmm. I think that's a cool little thing. Oh, this is the same place, but they changed the angles and the lighting, so it feels like a different place. That's nice. A QTE clean apartment. Harsh lighting makes everyone seem worse, so have some candles and some lights on dimmers, and she'll be a lot happier and more comfortable. Yeah, that's legit. Oh, well, there's lavender in his boudoir, in his closet. closet. Yeah. What to wear? As if straight from work? Hmm. Uh, sure. Sh I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. I have no clue. I don't think I've never learned how to seduce. I don't know anything. Um, it's not this one because it's gonna smell like your balls. I feel like this one is good. Oh, thank you to the anonymous gifter who gave who gifted us a tier one sub. Thank, thank you. you very much. We really appreciate that. Um, so. My question is, if you are indeed going to the fanciest bar, should you wear a suit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't go to bars, really. I don't either, but I feel like shorts and a t-shirt is not... Yeah, I just don't know. Does Oka's Cantina count at Galaxy's Edge? It's a themed Star Wars <laughs> bar. <laughs> I like to Disney bound there. Or like, I can only go to themed bars. <laughs> I mean, like... I only do what I want to do and literally nothing else. I do enjoy getting dressed up to go on a date. But typically it's not, like, to be fancy. It's just to, like, wear something that I wouldn't wear to work. You know? Like, that shows my personality. I think the word shorts is what gives it away. It's a bad idea. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Suits still have the power to convey status. And although she might have, you know, different taste and might not like the suit the most, it's usually a very safe option. Alright, so we're gonna meet tonight. Should I text her? <laughs> Just wanna <laughs> check you're not on your period. Hmm. One of these might work. Yeah, I feel like depending on how A is delivered. I'm going to go with A. Yeah, I wouldn't mind somebody being like, hey. Yeah, that's like, right. You want to reconfirm, but you don't want to write something like, are we still on for today? Because that's a little bit needy. This is so, met like, this is like metagaming the dating experience. Listen, I don't even understand because I just like to be early because I'm insane. Uh, you ever get to some place just way too early and so then you're like, shit, how did I get here an hour early? <laughs> and so yeah. you're like, guess I'll we'll hang out around Whole Foods or something. I... Not for a date or anything, just like in general. Yeah, I no, don't, no. I like... I, yeah. I, I generally just try my best to be there on time and whenever I get there, I get there. <laughs> like... I use, I try to get there a little bit early, and then if I'm going to be late, I text them an update like, hey, you know, I'm going to be late, but I'm yeah. still coming. I, to, I don't know, six on the dot? Let's try six on 
the dot. I feel like 10 to 6, you'll, he'll be like, you're supposed to be there so you could set up the area and, like, manipulate people into whatever. Well, I don't know, because I feel like... If you're meeting friends, this might be fine, but if you're meeting a girl, you should turn up early uh, so that you can set <laughs> things up. If she arrives before you, then she might sit somewhere I where knew it. Uh, it's not the best location and not the place that you had in mind. Ah, best Are we just... We're... According to Richard, we're just never going to get laid again. Not with... I think if you're a man, it's really hard, I think. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I, like, from what I've seen of it so far, I really like that blazer. Be friendly with the barman and other staff. Just... Yeah. In general, yes, you should be doing that. Second of all, it's something I notice is when somebody is rude to wait staff or or just simply pretends they don't exist because it tells me a lot it does yeah okay so it's not enough to like not be rude they have to acknowledge the wait staff at least con eye contact at least three times because there's people who go i want this mm. water drink comes not an acknowledgement those are not people you want to hang out with they're mean and shallow and think that and will take advantage of status at any moment as soon as they get it. Honestly, it's you don't even have to like overthink it. Just make sure that you're saying thank you when they bring you things and like that you're looking at them when they're asking you questions. No, I meant for judging the person that you're on a date no, with. No, 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 I know. I'm saying for the chat. Oh. You don't you don't have to do all sorts of like you don't have to like strike up a conversation, ask them how their day is. Just as long as you're, you know... Just a little, like, thank you. Yeah. It's, you know... It's May I please? It's not fucking complicated. Would you... Can you please tell me about the wine? Like that. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yo, Richard. Raul. Good seeing you so soon How again. How you doing, man? I'm okay. Same old, same old. How are you doing? Well, I'm great. Man, man, I've got this girl coming tonight for a date. So this is what you wear to work? Of course you do. Uh -huh. Richard? She's amazing, man. Wait till really? you see her. Yeah. Can't wait. Looking forward to it, but yeah, she's going to be here. Like I do minutes. like it. All right, fair enough. Yeah. How are you doing, though? You know, I'm grinding the bar. I'm grinding the stream. I'm trying to make it still. How's your streaming going? Um, You know, I'm not quite up there yet. There's some other Swedish streamer that... It's taking all my viewers, but I'm, I'm trying to get there. And Is he talking about the maybe girl? Maybe one day I'll be able to, to quit doing this. What do you think? Like or PewDiePie? Or PewDiePie, yeah. How many yeah. do you need to? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's going to put me on uh, enough to uh, to quit doing this, yeah. I'm sure you'll make it, bro. It's a great help to be somewhere where people know you, where they know your name, where they say hi to you, when they smile, when they see you. And it will have even greater effect if she sees that and it's a cool, fancy venue. What games are you playing at the moment? Right now I'm playing Minecraft. Still trying to beat the game on hardcore. Um, about <laughs> 1,000 deaths in now, but one day, one day. Is that, is that good? Or what, 2,000 deaths? Uh, most people would call it awful, I think. The chat yeah, says, are we seducing yeah. Raul so people now? Are watching you do it because you're not that good at it? They or like laughing at me. Yeah, that's why they watch it. <laughs> All right, well, at least you've got people watching. That's the main thing, right? If you were bad at it and no one watched, that would be kind of worse. You're right. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, bro, I need your help tonight. Do you think you could do me a favor? Sure. What do you need? Um, speaking of video games, I've been playing Dark Souls Remastered only out of spite. So I can finally say that I beat it. So it's just, it's just one of those games where it's like, oh, like, are you a real gamer? You know what? Fuck you. I am. I'm going to beat it. I'm not going to enjoy a single moment of it just so I can say I beat it so no one ever fucks with me again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't like C or D. I am having a hard time. See, one of my issues with this game is that I feel like I spend more time trying to think about what his advice would be as opposed to like, like what, when there doesn't appear to be an option that I would actually choose. Then I just sit there thinking, okay, what would Richard say? This is the answer that I think Richard would want. Yeah. But all of these answers are wrong. Yeah. They're all incorrect, but I think this is the one he wants us to say. Yeah. But I feel like that's the most incorrect one. <laughs> like, I don't know. 
Mate, it would be great if you could just bring like a bunch of drinks, you know, to help us relax and get the vibe right. So, sure. yeah. I don't know, like some shots and stuff. And mm -hmm. she might not want to have them, but you can say, oh, they're on the house, you know, be a little bit persuasive. That would be great. Sneaky. Sure, I can do that. Cheers, bro. This is super sneaky and morally wrong, but you can see how it would work. <laughs> and it's just an example of how when you think creatively, you come up with cool solutions like this. This is sneakily what? and morally wrong, but you did the right thing. The way, oh my you know God. What would be really good is um, when it comes time to pay. All right. What? Uh, I guess the first one. Just say that, like, I don't know, it's all on the house, you don't need to pay, your money's no good here, like that kind of thing. Okay. But, um, keep my card behind the bar, obviously, and I'll come back later and oh, settle sneaky. it. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. Wow. Maybe I'll keep this and subscribe to my channel with it as well. How much is that? <laughs> Five dollars. Yeah, man, go for it. Like a thousand times? Uh, charge back, charge back, charge back. Oh <laughs> right, my goodness. Okay. A guy that I used to know in London used to do this uh, with an Italian restaurant, this exact routine, and he said it worked like a charm. But again, it's slightly morally bad, and it's just there for your information. <laughs> it's also, just there you know, for your information, but it's bad to do. But just saying, you know, it does work. Well, yeah, it, like it works, but don't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, no. Um... I guess I this guess is the a least is, rapey a one. is the only like not awful one. There is something actually. Um, okay. Let's do this. So you've got this uh, beluga vodka, right? Yeah. Let's pretend that all the drinks are made with that, so she'll be impressed. It's like ah, oh, fancy vodka. This is but a lot I don't of directions. Want to be for that. So just use, or even for her to be anyone. No one should be charged for that. So. Use the shittiest vodka you got. Use that, um, have you got that Gerard Depardieu one? Yeah, we do have that one. Awesome. It's quite cheap, yeah. For like four dollars a bottle, yeah? So cheap yeah, as well. use that for all of them, but say it's Beluga. Wow. <laughs> what? In this case, it's another dodgy one that is correct. Um, <laughs> it's something that would maybe impress her a little bit. She's gonna have more to drink and it will increase your chances. But of course, it's morally wrong. So don't do it, but also it was the right option. <laughs> um, yeah, I think she's gonna be here pretty soon, any minute now. All right, excited. Oh my God. So do you want me to welcome you like you're a regular here or what do you want mm. me to do? We just kick off to... Oh boy. This one, this one's much better to make no. her feel special. No. Yeah, we're clicking it. See, see, there's no correct options. Anymore. Okay. We only have nightmares. Wow. Let's make this chick feel special. So, okay. You know, why don't you forget about talking about me? Why don't you say something like, "Oh, this one's better than the other girls you've brought." You know. Something. Would that not make me imply something that you might not want? I, I don't understand what you mean. No, I think it's fine. <gasps> All right. Whatever you say. I, do. <laughs> I can't. I love how... Not a good way to make her feel special. And also if she knows that she's the prettiest girl you've ever dated, that's actually a negative because she'd think, well, why wouldn't the other pretty girls want to date him? This is hurting my brain. Oh my God. That was difficult. That was, that was really hard, everyone. That was really... <laughs> How long was that? How long have we been streaming? Uh, it's 4.30 right now, so did you, Okay, I, I'm thinking we could potentially do one more and then do the next one on Monday. The last one on Monday? Or, I don't know, what do you think? Um... It, it basically, like, I'm, I'm... Do you want to try to do... To save two for the next stream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two for Monday? Yeah, that works. Sounds good. Yeah, that works. Is there anything you want to vent about <laughs> to the internet? <laughs> I always find like I'm like sitting there and I'm like, someone needs to hear my opinions. <laughs> yeah. So I'm playing Dark Souls. 
purely. I'm actually starting to enjoy it. But the whole, my motivating factor is no one can ever call me not a gamer again. <laughs> Even though I have like so much proof. I don't know. Whenever like a man says like some arbitrary reason as to what makes a real gamer, I'm like, I will fucking do that even if I hate it, just so I can tell you it sucked. Yeah. Dark Souls doesn't suck, but I did play Deus Ex. Deus Ex. De De Deus Ex. Human Revolution. Only so I could tell people that it sucks. Thank you so much for the subscription, Tag Tag Tag. Really appreciate it. for 13 months. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't like the game, and so I said, like, on some forum or whatever, hey, I didn't think the game was that great. I was like, did you even play it? Did you even finish And I'm like, I'm gonna finish this fucking game. I'm gonna finish it. And I finished it. Hated it. Remember nothing about it. 